Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. A really useful thing to know in cryptocurrency is who, which individual has got the best track record when it comes to predicting what will happen and when it will happen. People don't seem to focus on this very much, uh, and I think it's a question that deserves answering. And of course, if you have an opinion on who that person is, you can put the answer in the, in the comments section. I'll read it. Meanwhile, I have been listening to a lot of YouTube broadcasts by different Bitcoiners, and it's useful to listen to the ones that are old and and have predictions in them. Those aren't necessarily all that easy to find. You don't know who's going to make predictions and who's not just because the video is dated 2013. But I was watching one from Andreas Antonopoulos. It appears to be from 2014. And he made a few predictions. And I would just like to give you a sense of how accurate or inaccurate he was. First of all, he said that there would be a situation where Bitcoin was dominant but only made up about 50 to 60 percent of the market uh, and that came true he said there would be not not th uh, thousands but tens of thousands of altcoins he didn't assign a date to that but he did say that he thought by the end of 2014 there would be a kid who makes his own alt altcoin like a joy coin uh you know in a in a in a uh primary school environment. I don't know if that came true. It was nice that he at least assigned a date to it. The Waves platform does currently offer something that easy. It I don't know when the Waves platform came out, but I'm going to guess it's 2016. He said that uh, at the, you know, when once Bitcoin gets to that 50 to 60 percent area, I think, uh, was the time he was focusing on, that there would be a, uh, a situation where you have many outcoins, but only you know, like three or four of them would be really... Well, I don't know if he said three or four. It sounded like more like he was saying three to seven, if I recall, would, would be um, really useful and valuable. And the, the, it would be coins that offered something really different from Bitcoin. Now, that, I guess, sort of mostly came true. In fact... Dash and Dash and uh, which I will Litecoin are both really not that different from Bitcoin. Ethereum, on the other hand, is apples and oranges. Uh, and again, Antonopoulos may have gotten some of that right when he indicated that there there might be uh, altcoins which did not have uh, strict scarcity, and they might be part of this top uh, group of altcoins. So he was accurate enough that I'm going to start listening to him more. But I really would like to know what you think. Who, who is the best market predictor out there and the best tech predictor? Oh, speaking of tech, uh, Andreessen, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Antonopoulos, I think, got another thing right and another thing wrong. The thing he got right was, well, he said there would be a situation where it becomes more and more difficult to create a consensus and indicated that it, he, he predicted the scaling problems, it seemed to me, pretty accurately. But he also said it would be difficult to do hard forks. He seemed to think that hard forks would be sort of be less and less of an issue. Of course, they've become the issue, so he may have gotten that wrong. But on the other hand, maybe I just misunderstood him. Overall, you know, a fantastic speech to listen to, very easy to understand. You know, and I loved hearing those predictions, especially as a person listening three years later. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.